Hi, I'm Don Combs with Soda Farm. Today is Veterans Day, and so it seemed really fitting to take a moment and talk about emotional health. Emotional health is kind of that itch that we often can't quite scratch. When people come in and they talk about depression or anxiety or even uh, what we see in the veteran population right now, we see a disturbing rise in suicide rates. Uh, we're seeing suicide rates all around us. We have a lot of despair in our community. And we can talk about the nutritional aspects. Somebody that comes in and is having emotional disturbances, I want to talk about their B vitamin levels. I want to talk about their magnesium. Those are really simple things that can make us feel a little more at peace in our, our bodies. And we can use herbs that are going to help with the brain chemistry and the way that our brain is operating, um, maybe misfiring. But all of those things are still mechanical. Uh, when somebody is suicidal, when somebody is so depressed that they have unreasonable thoughts, uh, reasonable to them, unreasonable to other people, um, it's usually something deep down that's in the emotional body that we just can't get at with feeding them a bowl of broccoli or giving them a St. John's wort tincture. Sometimes we have to have something a little deeper. So I want to tell you about something that we have in the store, something that you can research if you are watching this from afar. Those are flower essences. Flower essences come in, and this is backwards, so you're not going to be able to see this exactly. Um, flower essences come in the same bottle as you would see a tincture. They look a lot like a tincture where you have a dropper and it fills up with liquid and you dispense it drop by drop but they're different they are they are for the emotional body they are they ripple out to physical ailments often but they are for your 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 sadness they're for a, a ptsd situation uh, something that you saw something that you experienced something that's blocking you um, a lot of times the health issues that manifest as a result of our emotional body happen because we get stuck. We get stuck in a horrible moment. We get stuck in something that happened in our past that really split how we feel about the world, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about the people that we are supposed to imprint on, our parents, our grandparents. Um, flower essences help us with that. They can be used with any age. They can be used with any ailment. They don't have any phytochemical makeup. They aren't something that we're going to see under, under the microscope, that it's made up of calcium and, and it's got alkaloids. It just doesn't have that. Um, they are things that you can make on your own. I've been teaching how to make that for years, and I would love to teach you if you're interested in... Uh, making your own flower essences, but to use these five flower remedy is something that you can readily get. This is for anybody, for anything. It's it's really great for shock. Uh, people who have recently had a loss, people who have had a shock, people who have had a physical or who might go through physical shock. They've got a, a, a big cut, a, a horrendous injury. We give this too. This will prevent shock and it will protect the emotional body. Often this can stop the, the crisis until we can figure out exactly what's going on. If you go to the grocery store or health food store, you'll see these tiny little bottles. These are, uh, these are stock bottles in, in the world of flower essences. And you figure out which one of these you're gonna use by talking to a flower essence therapist um, there are books that you can look through, and if you stop into our store, I can help you with this. Uh, you may come in and say, well, I'm just always angry. I don't know why I'm always angry, but it, it gets in my way. It gets in my way of my relationships. It's stopping me from living a full life. We can look up and find exactly what kind of anger you're experiencing in, in the protocol book that I have, and it will match to a flower essence that has been studied for 
many, many, many years. Um, I can't tell you exactly off the top of my head. Um, but these are these are studied in clinical settings. They stop started off. You can look up Bach flower, B-A-C-H, Bach flower remedies. Um, these have been around for a long, long time, and they can really help with that emotional thing that is sticking you to a part of your past, not allowing you to move forward. Uh, and sometimes sticking you so far in the past that maybe you don't see a future. Maybe you are in such despair because it just doesn't seem like anything will ever get better. Um, we need to be talking about what those emotional supports are. Obviously, we know what the Western medicine support is. We can go and we can get, we can talk to a therapist. We can get uh, medicine that will stop our ideation in the brain. But uh, there are natural ways to support that as well. Things that you could do right along with talk therapy, right along with medical, uh, pharmaceutical therapies. And those are available from people like me. Um, they're available. You can order the flower essences yourself, flower essence society here in North America. You can get a hold of Bach remedies. There are books to look up, but if you have any questions and you want to look into this, um, if you have a loved one, we don't dose people with this, even though it's totally gentle, totally safe, can work with any pharmaceutical. We don't dose people without their knowledge. But if you have a loved one that is interested in having a chat or you are interested, come on in, sit down. I can give you the book. I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to know what your issue is. You can do this totally privately um, or talk to somebody like me around the country. So Flower essences can be a great natural support for that emotional body need, that scratch, that itch that we just can't get to with eating well or getting out in the sunlight. Um, so many different things are available to us, but this is just so much deeper and and so important to know about. So I will challenge you today for my, my quick challenge. I will challenge you to sit with yourself. Take five or 10 minutes today, sit down, what emotional aspect of yourself is holding you back? Is there a space in your past that has got you stuck? Is there a trauma that has got you stuck? Is there an aspect of your personality that we all have them, uh, that isn't beautiful to you, that doesn't allow you to move forward in relationships? Maybe maybe you're judgmental, maybe, maybe you're angry, um, face those things, sit and write those down, find something that you want to work on and um, reach out, reach out to somebody like me, uh, do some research, find out what kind of flower essence might be a beautiful way to uh, walk through and develop yourself, evolve past that space. Um, we're always here, Soda Farm downtown, and I have a full complement of flower essences to look through and lots of ways to examine if they match you. Remember, real health happens one step at a time. We'll see you back here.